and two of that split cup that's gonna hold this spring up. Ooh! Don't let go of that. <laughs> this will go flying out. Hey guys, I'm Matt from the Walker Armory. Today we're going to take a look at the complete slide disassembly for the Smith & Wesson Sigma. So to begin, I'm going to make sure the gun is cleared, drop the magazine, drop the slide back down, and I'm going to pull the trigger. And then after I've done that, I'm going to grip it just like this, and I'm going to push just a little bit of pressure on it, right like that. And then there's two tabs, one here and one here. I'm going to pull those down, and then the slide will just come completely off the frame. I can set the frame aside. So now that we've got the frame and the slide separated, I'm gonna remove the guide rod. This just pulls right off. And the barrel just pops right out like that. And this is all we would normally need to do for a field strip, but I'm gonna take it a step farther, show you how to take out the striker, the striker plunger, and the extractor, just in case you ever wanted to do any work to it or clean it every once in a while. Um, so to do that, all we're going to need is a couple of uh, different size punches, maybe a needle nose plier to grab some of the smaller parts. But to begin by taking the rest of the slide apart, you can see down here in the bottom, I'm going to grab the smallest punch that I have, and right in front of the striker assembly, there's a little nylon cap. And all I need to do is get between that, and I'm going to pull that little nylon cap down. Hopefully, you guys can see this on the camera, but that little nylon cap is sliding down. So I'm going to stand it up, I'm going to slide this nylon cap down. And I'm going to push the slide cap off just like that. I'm going to hold my thumb over it because all these parts are under spring tension under here. And I'm going to remove that now. And keep sliding this end cap off. And so there's the end cap. And you can see down in here we've got the striker assembly and then also the extractor plunger assembly which is going to come out of the back. So we can remove by just pressing back on the striker assembly and removing that from the gun. And then we can also pull out the striker plunger and the uh, striker rod assembly. We'll just pull that out and leave that there. So now all we're left with in the slide is the striker safety plunger and the extractor. And to remove the extractor, all I need to do is just put a little bit of pressure on the plunger. And that'll just fall right out like that. Now be careful with the plunger because there's a spring on the bottom of this. So I'm just going to turn this over and dump that out. I don't want to lose that little spring in there so I've got my striker plunger and the spring in there and so that is the complete disassembly of the frame or a correction of the slide um, these are just plastic nylon sights so if I wanted to take the sights off I'd need a nylon punch and just drip the rear sight out and the front sight is actually melted onto the frame or onto the slide sorry um, so to remove the front slide you actually just break it off and uh, eventually I'm going to uh, work on replacing that later um, and put a better sight on there but for now this is all we're going to do for the disassembly. So to remove the extractor assembly to break this down just a little bit farther if you wanted to get down in here for anything I can actually use the slide and I'm going to put this in backwards I'm just going to put this nylon cup down in there and I'm going to tilt this, the uh, side of the striker off to the side to hold it and then at the top here there's a little nylon split cup so all I need to do is just put a little bit of pressure I'm going to put some pressure on this spring pull it down and then I can remove one and the two halves of the split cup and now very carefully release the spring because it is all under spring pressure and then we can remove our striker spring and then our nylon cup and this is what we were pushing down on when we needed to release the back side. And then there's another little spring that goes on here onto the back of your striker. So reassembly, we're just going to go the exact opposite. We're going to put the big spring on here. We're going to assemble our nylon cup back onto it. Our striker spring on top. And I'm going to set this back down in just like I had it before. And then I've got my two little split cups here. Again, the same thing, I'm just going to put pressure, pull it all the way down, and drop in my split cups, one here, and one on the other side, and then slowly release pressure and let those grab, make sure that's on there nice and tight, and that is our assembled striker. So to, re to reassemble the slide now, I'm going to start by taking our striker safety plunger, and just dropping that back down into the hole 
making sure that I still have that spring on there and then I can put my extractor on a lot of times you need to clean back down in here this can get a lot of gunk down in there if this starts getting dull or filled up with uh, gunk and stuff you'll, you're gonna have a hard time extracting the round out of the chamber but uh, we're gonna drop this right into place just like that and then to get this to kind of click in all we're gonna do is just put again a little bit of pressure on our striker uh, the striker plunger and that's gonna just drop right down into its spot then we can drop in our extractor rod and spring assembly into this hole here that's gonna go all the way down and you can see it hitting right there on the back side of the extractor that's what's gonna put the pressure on it and then we're gonna assemble our striker back into its channel just like that so now all we have to do is put on our end cap so this has got two little grooves it's gonna slide in there and I'm just gonna hold this with my thumb and I'm gonna grab a medium a little medium punch here I'm gonna push down the back of the striker cap or on the uh, the striker assembly and I'm gonna slide this cap forward a little bit more now we have to get the uh, extractor rod down in there and push this cap over and that's a really heavy duty spring so it takes a lot of pressure so I'm just gonna hold this straight push this all the way down in there slide this cap up and keep putting some pressure on there and everything's just gonna snap back into place just like that and so that's how that's gonna be our assembled slide and we can check we want to push on the back side of the striker here and on the face here you're not gonna see the uh, striker actually poke out and then we're gonna put a little bit of pressure here on the striker plunger and once we do that now you can see the striker poking out of the breech face that's what's gonna ignite our shells so all of our safeties are working everything's in there it looks good I can go and reassemble our slide by dropping in our barrel putting back in our recoil guide rod and spring making sure all that's lined up and straight you can always tell if this is on the correct way because your recoil guide rod is going to be uh, parallel with the frame you don't want it cocked off on an angle or sitting down in there you want to make sure you're sitting on that shelf right there and then all we need to do is slide our slide right back over the top of the frame just like that and we're going to do a safety check everything's working there magazine in slide lock open and that's how you do a complete slide disassembly and reassembly on the Smith & Wesson Sigma. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.